Well, 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 it's Saturday, Saturday, March 25th, 2017, and presence, not like a gift, but in his presence is fullness of joy. We today, I, I today went to the corner market to get some water. Out here in, in, uh, in Pomona, uh, you can get water, a gallon, of, a, fi a gallon is like 60 cents, a five gallons is a dollar, it's like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm messing with you. I think I think that the gallon is like 25 cents or 20 cents. It's really, you know, but like the five gallon, what a deal. A dollar for five gallons. That's amazing. So um, so I did that, but I, I took a peek into the market and, and, you know, I haven't been in Pomona since 1970 and uh, 1971 maybe is the last time I was in Pomona living there and I'm in Pomona now and I'm living uh, living, uh, I went off a mission in Pomona. It's awesome, right below the fairgrounds, and an old Victorian home. And uh, it's uh, the home was built in 1890, and uh, we're raising the ceilings back up. We're, we're getting to the original plaster and uh, the old old wallpaper, and it's amazing. And God's really blessed me. But I took a peek in this market, and I, I you know I go down the streets of Pomona, and I have memories of yesteryear. And my memories as a kid, uh, I'm, I'm living just, just a couple blocks down from where I was a little boy. And my dad, we lived up in North Pomona. Uh, and uh, as a kid, my dad would take me into work on Saturdays. And he had this little machine, there was a razor. I go, nye, 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 nye. And this is the sound of it. And having a little rubber eraser, it was really cool. And, and then he had sugar cubes, little square sugar cubes. Uh, they were by the coffee machine. I was on the west side of the room. And, uh, and I would always go in there and I would eat those sugar cubes out, baby. <laughs> wow, I wonder what happened to Bob. Yeah, it's sugar cubes, that's the answer. Keep the sugar away from the old man. <laughs> Even when I go to my, my mechanic now, to Vartka, I see my friend Vartka, independent Volvo, out in Pasadena. Uh, I, will, I will go for the sugar cubes. I'm not... Because they're just so cute. It's like a little cube of sugar and it just pops in and it's like, I'm a big horse. <laughs> I guess horses like sugar cubes too. All right, somebody's locked up here. Wow. So I just wanted to share with you for a minute and just say to you kindly that um, in His presence, I went into the to the market and I saw with fresh eyes. It was like it was a brand new day. And in fact. Sting was singing a brand new day in my ear, <laughs> and uh, and on the way in, Roy Arbison was, was singing uh, anything you want, and and I just I just felt just as the presence of the Lord, such a presence of the Lord, such a presence of the Lord, in every store, people seem so nice, and the store seemed so beautiful. I thought, wow, I went to the post office, and there was no big line. And the man at the counter was so sweet, and I mailed my little package, and I said hi to people, and I opened the door, and I just thought, I'm home. I'm in, I'm in the presence of my family at home. <coughs> and then my family at home, <coughs> I thought of the little ones, you know, hey, Mr. Bob, hey, Mr. Bob. They're all so happy to see me, and I made a nice breakfast this morning. I made, they said I wanted scrambled eggs. I made made myself a couple fried eggs. I made the bacon up and everything, and then I thought, well, so I just, I got a little bit of the butter. You know how to do the butter, by the way, how to do the butter? Wait, here's how you do the butter, 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 bitter, butter, butter, bitter, butter, butter, butter. What I do is, I get a little iron skillet or any kind of little pan, fill it with about this much water, and then uh, then I put the, the coffee mug in the, in the water. And what happens is, is that uh, I, I heat, I, I have the professional chef's, oh, I got it. <sighs> doggy, I have a professional chef's griddle, so the fire goes like this, it, it surrounds it, like it's just, it's just so much heat, and so much fire, it's like, wow. Um, so I heat the water up to its roaring boil, and then, then the cup just sits there, but it's surrounded by this boiling water, I turn the boil off right away, of course, and... Then I, uh, then I have melted butter, you know. So I put a little bit of that melted butter on the griddle because I'd already been done with the bacon. Better to cook the eggs in the bacon, but I, I put a little bit of butter. And they just loved it. So I had, I had the scrambled eggs. I did two eggs. It was a nice little deal. I just tossed them over. And I didn't really keep turning them like you're supposed to. I just did almost like an omelet. 
And so I, I made the breakfast for everybody and they had bacon and they had tortillas. And I actually went to my boss's house yesterday and my boss, uh, she has Mexican heritage. So she, she also likes the tortillas. And if you don't have South American heritage like me, I, I didn't ever have it before, but <coughs> the, the South American people, they're so smart. They get these little corn tortillas or flour tortillas and they take whatever the food is. So you could be having a pizza and they're getting you a little tortilla, a little tortilla. It's like, everything's in a tortilla, you know. I'll give you some orange juice. Just put it in the tortilla. <laughs> I'm going to hear about it from my family now. They're going to be like, you are making fun of us and our South American heritage. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> oh. But the joy of the Lord, and, and I was at a service last Sunday, and there were people going like this, and they're going, ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha, and they were they were they were almost like having the anointing of laughter, and uh, but this this today, <laughs> figures when I start my devo, I start yawning. Isn't that true? You ever try to have a quiet time with God and all of a sudden... <laughs> Look at the disciples. This is the new... Well, this is the 20th century. It's all them, all the fangled phones and all that technology. It's, it's, it's all the modern electronics. Well, no, it isn't. Look at the disciples. Jesus came to him like, what, two or three times? Hey, boys! Come on, can't you stay up for at least two minutes? Come on, I'm, I'm dying here. Well, I'm going to be dying, but that's another story. You guys just pray. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> so it's not a new problem. People, people just, I think the devil just likes to, yeah, sleep, sleep, my pretty. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in his presence is fullness of joy. That's our scripture for today. In his presence is fullness of joy. And rest. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go take a friend of mine, a senior, uh, over. Uh, you got to get to the to the AT and T store because the SIM card on the phone doesn't work. So I, I said to her, I said, I'll be out here in in LA. I'm, I, I'll show you. I'm really here. In LA. This is LA, baby. Yeah, Cheryl Crow, eat your heart out. This is LA, baby. Da 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 Ah, a man named Buddy. I have a father-in-law that he passed away many years ago who, uh, his name was Buddy. I never knew any other, anybody, anybody named Buddy. I never had any better, 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 better that was Buddy. No, Buddy was a nice guy. And I think of him now as the Casa del Green and goes into the, uh, into the history books. <clears throat> um, because my, bro my brother, my brother, yeah, my brother, my, my, my father-in-law, buddy, uh, when I first moved to Casa del Green, I can see a picture. It was just, <laughs> there was nothing there. <laughs> and um, over the last almost 20 years, uh, we, uh, we have nurtured and grown and, and, and uh, brought Casa del Green into, a, into its own. And uh, it's become the home that I, I want to say idolized, not, not in a false horrible way but I, I really put it up on a pedestal this home that was down the street and the, the driveway was like this it was like a, it was like a tunnel just because everything was just and um, it was just an amazing amazing uh, place and no one had ever seen the home I mean the home had never been seen in like 30 years and so I said to my father I said hey buddy uh, you know hey dad uh, I want to make my house like that one you know what my dad said he said you'll do it Bob you'll do it and I did it. So I guess, uh, you know, it's done and it's time to let go. And uh, we had a lot of drama on the, uh, the campus today, uh, on the campsite. Uh, I, you know, my Casa Del Green and wherever I live is a piece of art. I, I bring into the presence of the Lord, I bring into the presence of my family art. And everything I do is, is, is done with love and care and with an artistic flair and a touch. And um, the, the last camper to come in, the opposite, the, the, as close to the devil as I think a person could, could probably be other than, you know, sacrificing. Uh, no, we don't want to talk about that. Um, <clears throat> but 
I noticed yesterday I was there that the, the beautiful jasmine, which had been crawling, to, it took about 15 years to, to develop a crawl all across the porch to where as you sat on the porch, it was just, a, it, we were like you were in, in, enmeshed in, a, in a arms. My, my aunt used to say, I have an aunt, and she used to say, arms of love. And she'd draw little hands and, you know, whenever, that was her salutation, arms of love. She was just very sweet, you know. I, she doesn't say that anymore. Now it's, and First John, or, you know, she has uh, Corinthians or Chronicles, or, you know, she has verses, but I, I miss the arms of love. It's very sweet. But the plants are like that. My plants at Casa del Green are definitely like arms of love and you know what the man did he went through I cleaned a little path out but he went through and whacking 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 he took out he killed my jasmine my brother Tim is very sympathetic well Bob what they're gonna do is they're gonna rip out all the plants Bob they're all going Bob every plant is gone Bob they're all gonna be gone they're gonna plant plants that are this big that are they're you know, no more than an inch high around the property so they can show the house off, Bob. And my brother sold his house. Uh, he had nothing. He had dirt. And, and if there was anything in the dirt, he ripped it out. And he, and he burned it. And it was gone. And he was making sure that... <laughs> my, my brother is the most wonderful man in the world, but he's not an artist with plants. That's for sure. That's not his gift. His gift is not plants. He could care less about plants. He's into people. He's into his family. He's into God. He's a God guy. He's not a plant guy. Me, I'm a plant guy. You know, right now at our house in Pomona, uh, I'm the 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 um, the the the, 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 the um, Chinese elm, which I, I, I do not recommend a Chinese elm, but we have a Chinese elm. It's already there. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to mess with it. It's growing up over to the sidewalk. Well, won't see. Let's clip that off. Clip it off. Clip it. Cut it. Cut it. Not me. Let's, let's, I'm going to put a post up across the sidewalk and we're going to start to have an archway to come over. And I said, hey, you know, hey family, we're going to have an archway over there. We're going to, we're going to make the Casa del Green right here in Pomona. It's going to be that same beautiful mystic beauty. I'm going to plant some pepper trees and it's going to be awesome. Um, but the presence, we're here about the presence of the Lord. When the presence of the Lord is, 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 is with us, when we are in the presence of the Lord, Everything is right. Has anything really changed since a couple days ago? No. Do I have any more money? No. Do I have more handsome? No. I did get. I did cut my hair though. I did my. I cut my hair. I did a little trim. I did shave my neck up. Look at this. It looks so nice. And look at a young whippersnapper. <laughs> I put sunscreen on, and I know. So I, I'm good. I'm good. But it's not about me looking good. I was listening to Judah today. He, he spoke at Liberty University and he also spoke in South Africa. And he tells the same story, which kind of encouraged me because I thought, you know what? I'm always talking about similar things. But he has the story of the, the three stories of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and then the, the prodigal son. And he makes the point that it's, it's, it's being in the presence of the Father. It's not how much money you make. It's not how good looking you are. It's not that your circumstances are exceptionally wonderful. It's a simple, quiet reality that God is in your midst. That you're in the midst of God. And I told you today that I went to the, I went to the market. I went to the post office. And I was at home. And everywhere, everywhere I went, presence of the Lord. The sweet, sweet presence of Jesus was everywhere I went. And even right now. The presence, the sweet presence of Jesus is here. So I pray for you today. I pray that the presence of the Lord would be with you today. This is, this is Bob's Daily Devo. I'm Bob. 
you can call me 213-713-8954 8954greenatt.net on the Twitter it's Mr. Bob at Bob Bob 8954 and, and I, I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a get together out in Pomona real soon so uh, I'm gonna start I'm gonna just speak in faith that we're gonna have a little get together out in Pomona I hope you'll, you'll join us uh, we're about 20 minutes away from LA and uh, it's, a, it's a good it's gonna be a good good time and I'm looking forward to seeing you until tomorrow though worship be thankful and enjoy God's presence. Amen. Amen.